Okay, we're building our link tree. I'm going to build mine. So the first job is just to set the web page out. So I'm going to use the boilerplate code. I'm going to get rid of hello world. and I'm going to start building from here. I'm going to pop, actually, I'm going to pop my image in first. It's just the standard code. I haven't actually put an image in though, have I? Um, let's drag and drop one of those. I'm not going to worry about an image folder here because I'm not going to have many images actually. Just refresh that, check that's all working. That's a little bit big, so I am going to put a width setting in here. Although I will change it in the CSS later, just so that I can see what's going on. Because otherwise, I'm just going to be staring at my big bald bonds as I'm trying to code. In the H1, I'm going to put my name. And then directly underneath, what I might do is start putting in... Uh, maybe... I'm going to give this one a style, um, a class. I'm going to call this one About. And this is going to be the line that's about me. So this is going to be what happens directly under me, directly under my name. I'm going to style that to be like italic and small and stuff like that. But let's get on with the link tree. Let's start with socials. Let's do an H3 or something. And I might even do a list. Start off with Twitter. I'm going to go for my YouTube channel as well. And of course, you'll put a list of whatever you want in. These are my main two. Actually, do you know what? Most important one. Replit. This is where it's going to be bad. I am at less than a hacker on Replit as well, but that's like my personal account. My more exciting stuff is all in David at Replit, which is my... So of course, you are going to go on and do a bit more of that to have links to things you're particularly proud of links to portfolios, maybe you're an artist, maybe you're a videographer and you've got links to cool things you want to put in there and you've got links to cool things you want to put in there, but that's down to you. I'm going to get styling this now, so this looks a bit nicer than what we've got. Uh, saying that, hold on, I'm done the links. Right, let's link these things up. I'm going to put my A tag in on each of them. You notice that if I just type the href in, I don't actually get any fuss with it trying to autocomplete. Which is quite nice when I'm trying to add A tags in after the fact. I've put one in before allies, but I don't think it really matters which way you put them in. There we go, I've got my links. Let's get on a style CSS and style this up a little bit. Right, remember background color. I'm going to set it red so I get my color picker and then pick something. And remember, I liked the replit theme, so I'm going to pinch some of that. So I'm also going to set the font color, which is oddly just color, to white. In fact, you know what, I'm going to bring it up a little bit so it's not perfectly white, just a very light grey. Let's refresh that to see what we've got there. Nice. I'm also going to add centre aligning to everything. A bit of padding on the, on the page, maybe 20 pixels. So everything comes in and down a little bit to around 20 pixels. Is that too much? I feel like I've put too much in there. Let's put 10 in. Actually, I think what I've done is instead of giving the page given every item on their padding, which is probably not what I want. Um, let's do... I think that was all right. Yeah, that's okay. A bit nicer now. Let's start with my image. You'll notice the, the image is actually styled itself there, so I'm not going to bother messing around with that. I'm just going to go for size. Let's go for width 50%, and we'll see what that looks like. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Headings. I think they were the ones I used. I like the monospace font. I can do bold. That would be great there. Um, and I'm going to do color for these. Let's start off with white. Hopefully that should make the heading stand out a little bit more from the text. Not quite, so let's make that text a little bit grayer so we can see that happening. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to target my this bit of text now. Now, of course, the reason I targeted it with a class, and what did I call it? Let's have a look. Um, I called it about. The reason I targeted it with a class is because you're likely to have a bunch of text on yours, lots of P tags, and you might want to want to change the style of one of them. That's what classes are all about, really. So I'm going to change font size there to about eight pixels. Font style to be italic. Put a colon instead of a semicolon there. There we are, that's better. And I'm actually going to change the padding on this to zero, the margin on this to zero. And 
let's see what happens to that. Does it get a bit closer to everything? Uh, more or less. I think what I need to do is I need to change the bottom padding or something on the H1. So I'm going to change this just for the H1. I like how it is on H3. So padding zero. Let's see if that makes a difference. Okay. It's my margin bottom then. It's not the padding that's causing the issue. There we go. And you see, I brought that up now to be right under there. So the last thing is going to be my links. So that's just going to be A. And let's take a look. There we go. I got my links. And of course, we could put a class on each of those links so that each one looks different. I could also turn the underline off as well. There we go, which I think looks a bit nicer. There's mine. I can take this website address now, stick that in my profile and share it far and wide online. Why don't you do the same?